Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Cancer? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Before we get into your reading, I want to just give you guys a quick update and let you guys know that we're going to be releasing or dropping the Pendulum gift box. Um, this is a... Sorry, you guys, I went completely blank. <laughs> I went completely blank. It's been a long day. Um, anyways, like I was saying, we are dropping the Pendulum gift box. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. And what it is is basically a Pendulum. Obviously, you guys know what we use that for. But these are ritualized, consecrated through ceremonial magic. Uh, it is used with certain crystals as well as certain herbs in the jar. To make sure to keep bad spirits away and to only have you communicate with spirit guides or ancestors. Uh, the gift box also comes with a necklace as well as a vial that is for your protection um, and for love and for prosperity. So if you guys are interested, definitely check out our online store. It's going to be dropping Friday, May 21st, 2021. So that's next week. All right. Also want to let you guys know that there is a... Um, a limited we only did 50 so i guess first uh first come first serve <laughs> all right my lovelies let's get into your reading cancer let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month in regards to love and romance i hope you guys are doing great also side note ignore my nails they look like shit at this point i have been so busy we have so so many new things going on. I will be announcing as we get closer to that. Anyways, um, yeah, I just haven't had any personal time. Uh, for those of you guys that are trying to get consultations and readings, we are going through all emails. We have been very proactive on my Instagram, um, my TikTok, etc. You guys can find daily readings on there. All right, let's get into it. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit Guides, what are the messages for Cancers in regards to love and romance? I'm going to be pulling out cards for you, Cancer, as well as cards for your partner or person of interest with the different deck. So we will be using two decks here today. All right, your first card here is the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries type of energy. Um, you could be dealing with this person or this could be the energy that you're starting to vibrate to. Um, with the two of swords, you're questioning, you're questioning your value in this person's life. And I feel that I, at the present time right now, you may be questioning something about your Something that has to do with your confidence for some of you. For others of you, it's like a feeling of frustration because you don't see any progress. You may be dealing with fire energy. Like I said, you may also be dealing with uh, air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra type of energy. I feel that right now at the present time, you may be dealing with a situation where both of you guys are at stalemate. Like, no one's making a move, no one's communicating, no one's really putting effort. What the hell is going on here? Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. I see. All right, Cancer. So what they're telling you here is, again, like I said, I feel that there hasn't been any progress or any movement in regards to this connection or the person you may be dealing with. Um... You guys are at st uh, at stalemate. Basically, you guys are not making a move towards each other. There is the Ten of Swords here. For some of you guys, there was an ending. There was a breakup, some type of separation. We have here the King of Cups as well. This is water energy, but I feel that... I feel that this is uh, in connection with the King of Swords. So again, you may be dealing with uh, air energy or water energy. You know we talk about energies here. Not specifically signs, but... Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces could be um, the person that you may be dealing with or the energy that they're taking on. Where at the past or in, in, in the past, they could have been very difficult to figure out. They could have been very much in their head, cold, standoffish, not really communicating. 
there was an ending or some type of separation, some type of giving each other some break. I feel them coming back around and trying to communicate with you because they're in their feelings. Um, with the Queen of Wands, I feel that for some of you guys, this is you taking your power back. This is you like maybe you sat there and wait for this person for a while. You put up with non You put up with bullshit, basically, um, entertaining the idea that they may come back around or that they may have a change of heart. But something transpired in the past two months or two weeks for some of you guys where you were like, you know what? I've had enough. I'm not going to sit there and wait for anything to happen. I'm going to go out there and make things happen. So I see you much more in your power, a little bit more confident in yourself, Cancer, and for others of you, I feel that this momentum that you're taking on, and if you're not experiencing this right now, you will be experiencing this throughout the month of May. The moment you start to work on yourself or focus on yourself, this person does a 180. Like they're trying to communicate. They are emotionally open now. They're willing to talk about their feelings. But with the Six of Swords, I see you getting ready to move on, to be honest. It's like you've sacrificed or you've put up with a lot of shit, you know, because you were wanting to be emotionally supportive. You were wanting to be compassionate. And it, it's almost like something within you kind of just snapped. And you're like, you know what? Here I am thinking about them. Like, it's time for me to think about myself. It's time for me to put myself first and start doing me. The moment you start taking on that energy cancer, you start to notice that this person is trying to pretty much win you back. Let's see exactly what's going on with them. Spirit guides, please show me the energies of the person or partner that cancer may be dealing with at this present time. Yeah, because I see you guys like waiting and waiting and waiting. Um... For changes and the changes never came so now you're like you know what I'm done waiting I'm done putting effort where they're not putting effort you're taking your energy back I love that cancer all right so you have the six of pentacles here this is your partner how they're viewing the situation yeah I feel that there is a lot of taking without enough giving on their part this is a person that is extremely stubborn this is a person that it could be player, player type of energy that you've been dealing with, a person that may be very immature, they're not sure exactly what it is that they want, they get distracted easily with the Knight of Wands and the Emperor card, very stubborn, and like I said, a person that likes to see what's out there. With the Hierophant and the Judgment, they are coming into the understanding that they're losing you, basically is what they're saying. Um very strongly like them trying to deliberate or figure out if they're willing or wanting to get into this commitment um and i see i'm gonna be honest i see them making the decision of wanting to put some type of effort but it's not gonna last long it's kind of like if you give the opportunity to the ex they're like on their best behavior for like a week or two weeks and then boom they start on their bullshit again because we have the knight of swords here so it's not something that is going to be steady or something that is going to be stable. It's something temporary. Um, and though they may come at you with good intentions, um, I feel that their immature energy is only going to is only going to be like like I said temporarily. I don't feel like it's it's you know that they are going through a transformation. No, I feel that the transformation they're wanting to make happen is only because they feel they're losing you. Um, so again, if you feel like you're dealing with this type of energy, my advice is move on, Cancer. Uh, stop putting effort where they're not meeting you halfway. Stop investing time or even listening to their bullshit about they're going to change and they know what they want now, etc. Look at the way they're moving. If, they're, if their words are not matching their actions, move on. You deserve better than that, Cancer. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight or guidance. We will see each other soon, and I wish you guys the very best. Till then, bye.